it is tax season, and I know there will be information coming out about the VITA program. And if you don't do your mail, your, your um, taxes electronically and you mail them, we will work with you to get it postmarked. Uh, you know, because we're overseas and we're ahead of the United States cutoff date, cutoff times, we can actually take your mail through the 16th of April and it will still get postmarked and mailed and be in the states by the 15th. The United States Postal Service has asked us to implement what's called Zip Plus 4. So if you don't have an individual box and you get your box at a collective number, then we will be giving you a new box number that is exclusive to you and your family. What that means is you have to change your address, of course, and tell all the people that you get mail from, all the businesses and your friends and family, so that the mail will start coming to you directly instead of in the collective mailbox. Your mail orderlies will be contacting you, they'll be giving you your new box number, and we ask you please get online and start changing your addresses as soon as possible. There have been some delays. A lot of this is due to the fact that we've had some weather issues on the East Coast, especially right around the Christmas holidays. The mail volumes have gone up a little bit, and it just takes the military postal folks and the USPS folks time to catch up. Planning for an earthquake, the first thing you want to do uh, if you feel an earthquake coming on, it's drop, cover, and hold. That's the standard from our shakeout. Uh, get underneath a, a sturdy table, like a dining room table, and stay there until the shaking stops. Give it a few minutes more just to make sure that the motion has dissipated. Uh, the first one, that uh, most, uh, second most recently, was on the 29th of December. That was a uh, 4.9 uh, magnitude earthquake. It was a very, fairly shallow one. It was only about 10 kilometers deep. But that was northeast of us in uh, Pozona Mutri. Uh, the one we had most recently here on Monday was about the same location. It was a 4.2 and uh, it was followed a little later, about an hour later or so, by a 3.7. And the best way we can prepare and minimize the stress and anxiety with earthquakes is to talk about it, plan for it as a work center, plan for it as a family, and uh, build a kit. It's water, non-perishable food, they, I mentioned the uh, infant supplies, flashlight, a battery-powered radio, a first aid kit, and if you were to build this first aid kit for a number of people, uh, four is the typical standard. And again, it's going to vary depending upon the size of your family. If you are taking, or any of your family members are taking medications, you need to make sure that you've got those on hand too. Uh, some basic hand tools would be good, um, and also copies of any uh, important documents that you have that you would need uh, in the event we had to leave here quickly. Also, blankets or small sleeping bags, a map of the area, and a manual can opener, manual powered can opener, which is something that often gets forgotten. And also pet supplies. They can contact the emergency management office at uh, Capitol Kino, the number DSN 626-5303, or commercial 081-568-5303. And we also have an email address. It's EMO group, all one word, E-M-O-G-R-O-U-P, at eu.navy.mil. There are no questions that are dumb questions. And we're more than happy, and that's why we're there, to help you prepare and, and reduce the anxiety and be best prepared for the events.